Today, we're going to kind of do a little follow-up on yesterday's uh, project from the, the Clevis uh, for a five-ton uh, military truck. We got that done up right in that, uh, you know, the pins will go in correctly and everything indexes good. So, we did good all, on that yesterday. But, I felt that uh, having to resort to uh, modifying a pair of hoof trimmers for a horse, uh, you know, that's what got us through this project yesterday from the, the clips. And it worked out fine. <laughs> but I felt the need to make myself another, uh, well, not another, but uh, my own pair of uh, blacksmith tongs. These do not exactly uh, fit the bill, but uh, they, they make do. With the means of the hand, here we go again. Okay, now after the fact, where we needed the tongs yesterday, today we decided to build some. Kind of like the old saying goes, uh, never time to do it right, but always time to do it over. Well, this, this is kind of like that category there. So we took some uh, half inch rebar, <coughs> 20 inches long, and uh, used it in the uh, David Singery foundry furnace and uh, couldn't really get a lot of heat on it until we uh, put the central body back on and then a, uh, a little heat shroud on top. And uh, still couldn't really get it uh, all that hot. I feel that whenever I uh, am going to uh, rebuild this furnace, I'm also going to put like a, uh, uh, a hood over it, a flue, in order to uh, use it as a, a dual purpose foundry uh, furnace or a forge. You know, it will do it. It does have the capability, as you saw yesterday, and uh, what we can do today. Uh, th there's always room for improvement, but uh, I now have a, a pair of tongs, and they say it takes a pair of tongs to make a pair of tongs. Well, here's what I had to uh, Take a bit of out. The design, why we went with this design, is from Paul Paul Hasluck's Metalworking Book. First edition. 1907. But he shows you right in here, this picture here, and he says down here that this is the most used pair of tongs. And that's why we went th with this design. And, uh, well, we could do much better than what we uh, have done. But we know that we can grab a hold of something and now and work work it over. We drilled a quarter inch hole and took a uh, spike nail and riveted that in there. But anyway, uh, I got a tool. I just had to show you that show you this today and uh, probably. Next video, we're probably going to get back, and we've already told you about uh, making uh, cow chops, a whole bunch of them at one time, and how easy we're going to show you how to do it. Now, that'll be it for the day, and we'll get
getting right back with you on our next video. Thank you for watching.